If you're somebody with acne scarring, then you want to get rid of it as quickly as possible, but you also don't want to do anything that prolongs it and makes it take longer to go away. So in this video, you're going to be learning three things you absolutely should do that will accelerate your improvement of acne scars, but also three things you should absolutely avoid so that you don't make it take any longer than it needs to. Okay, let's just jump straight into it with the first don't. And the first one is do not use derma rollers. Now I know if you have been doing this for a little bit, you've looked into everything you can do to improve your acne scars and you probably have ran into a lot of things you can do at home. Derma rollers are those things that you roll against your face and they have little needles or little spikes, right? And the idea is that as they puncture your skin, they cause you to regrow your skin at an even rate. But science has now proven what these bad boys do is actually scoop your skin in a certain way that causes more scarring. The reason that this happens is because the way the needle enters your face. As it's rolling over the skin, the needle enters in this way and then scoops out that way, right? So each needle is actually creating this line. Instead of creating a pure, even puncture hole, it's creating a scoop. And those scoops will actually cause these line scars to happen, especially if you do it often. So that brings us to the first thing that you should do, and that is use a derma stamp instead of a roller. So the difference is that a derma stamp, you press straight into your skin, pull out, change to a different spot, press in and out. This causes even puncture holes at the same length without any of that scooping. And so what this does is basically what the derma roller was trying to do. It causes very minor wounds on your face so that your skin triggers to grow new collagen and elastin and it'll basically over time cause an evenness to your skin, especially for rolling or boxcar type of action. Acne scars. There are a lot of them online. The one that I personally use is from Banish. It's called the Banisher 2.0. I really like this one because it has gold tips on the needles. So they're antimicrobial and this causes it so that you will not have an infection or any problems as you use it again and again. Of course, you do want to make sure that after each use, you are cleaning it with alcohol so that it is completely clean. Okay, now moving on. I know it is summer for most people and so you're probably able to get a lot of sun, but most places for about eight months of the year, you don't get that much sun which brings us to number two on the don't list do not use tanning beds it is so bad for your skin but especially if you already have acne scarring discoloration or hyperpigmentation so if you have purple spots red spots or if you have scarring it's going to make it significantly worse so basically there's been tons of studies that show that sun exposure uv rays cause a degradation of collagen and elastin in skin which basically makes you wrinkle faster and if you have acne scars makes those acne scars more apparent but also sun exposure exacerbates any discoloration that you have. So if you are prone to having red marks, erythema, it makes them worse. If you're prone to having dark spots like hyperpigmentation, purple spots, things like that, it makes them worse and stops them from getting better. So they won't improve. In fact, they'll get worse. So now, of course, that brings me to the second do. And the second do might be obvious, but do use sunblock. S especially on your face. Now you probably heard this before, but a 30 SPF sunblock is sufficient. Anything higher is just going to be better. And this is gonna help ward off those UV rays and the bad effects of them. Now I wanna say this, I know it's not practical for everybody to just avoid sun all the time, right? Some of us really just do wanna get a good tan. So I would say at the very least, make sure that you don't tan your face, right? Like go out to the beach and tan up your body, but keep your face covered with a hat or at least just really cover your face with sunblock. I think if you cover your whole body, that's the best. But if you are going to do it, then at least cover your face with sunblock. Okay, number three on the do not list, do not use physical exfoliants. So this is things like St. Ives apricot scrub or those pumice stones. Sometimes people will rub their face with them or really anything where you're rubbing your face physically to try and bring off dead skin cells. We have now found out with countless studies that this is extremely bad for your face. It is extremely irritating, can cause more acne, and absolutely causes more scarring, especially if you are super rough on your face. Now the fix for this is number three on the do list. You should use a chemical exfoliant. This does all the things that you were hoping the physical exfoliant does. It sloughs off dead skin cells. It stimulates new collagen elastin regrowth. It helps to even out those uneven surfaces, which are your acne scars, 
but it does it without the side effects and it does it more effectively so that the acne scars you do have improve significantly quicker. Now, when it comes to what chemical exfoliant you should use, an alpha hydroxy acid is usually going to be best for most people. The one that I personally really, really enjoy is a glycolic acid. It's gentle on the skin. It's super effective and you can do it about once to twice a week if you have relatively sensitive skin. Now, I know some of these may seem super simple and super straightforward but it really is pretty straightforward. I've been doing all of this for quite a while now and I've seen massive improvements in my acne scarring. Now I've talked about this a bunch of times on the channel before, but if you are looking to get rid of your acne scars at home really effectively and quickly, my favorite brand is Banish. Their entire line is backed by science. It's super good. It's what I've been using now for two years. I've seen massive improvements and they pretty much have done all the thinking for you. Like I've vetted all of their products and all of the ingredients are backed by science. So if you just buy the a starter kit it just makes everything super simple you have the derma stamp in there you have banish oil you can pick up the pumpkin enzyme mask which has glycolic acid in it it has vitamin c in the oil and in the cream the moisturizer all of those things have been proven scientifically to improve acne scarring as well as discoloration and hyperpigmentation so i highly recommend checking them out if you want to use my discount code it's brian5 i'll get you five dollars off of your order i'll put a link in the description below banishbrian.com definitely if you have acne scars, you are going to be super stoked that you tried their products out. So that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already for future skincare videos. And remember, you are not alone. You are beautiful and you are a part of Team Acne.